is Aaron Reed. I am known as the world's tallest bodybuilder, author of The Supernatural Lifestyle, uh, Super League Pro, and former WWE wrestler. I guess I could say that. I wrestled long enough the WWE to make it official. I asked Shad, he said it was official. Uh, outside of that, uh, you know, just a dream chaser. I come from a family of athletes. Everybody's really big and strong and aggressive and good at everything. <laughs> Everybody in my family is like, good-looking athletes and smart and just kind of leg up you know the Reed family's pretty blessed you know growing up I had leukemia diagnosed when I was four years old uh, ALL it's um, acute lymphomic leukemia and uh, you know everybody in my family kind of looked at me as like the sick kid and uh, treated me as such you know and Growing up, when you're going through shit like that, you don't really know any different. You know, you don't like it. You know, you. I, I remember thinking, I wish I could go outside and play with my friends. I can do the things everybody else is doing. For some reason, they're telling me I can't. I got to stay in this hospital bed and all these things. But um, you know, what happened is over time, I just wanted to do more stuff, more and more and more and more. And it was like I was being held back. And I remember thinking, I know I can do these things. I know, I know that I can do what my brother's doing. I know I can do what my friends are doing. Like I know I can do it. And then once I finally got far enough away from the chemo, it stopped when I was almost eight, and I was able to start doing things. You know, my parents and family and people they kind of always approach me with like a soft hand, like, "Oh, are you okay?" You know. So there was so there was so much of me being treated just like this weak human being. I hated it. I hated it. I just wanted to be strong. You know, being strong became the one thing that I wanted more than anything. So I got introduced to the gym by a childhood mentor. I call him my big brother now. His name is Gus Hankey. He introduced me to the gym when I was 12 years old. And I started working out with him. I deadlifted before I turned 13, I was still 12. I deadlifted 300 pounds. Then I could bench press 115 pounds. And I remember running home asking my older brother, who's like two years older than me, if he could do it. He was like, yeah, I can do about that. He was full of shit. He could not do it. And then I knew in that moment, I finally found the one thing physically I was better than him at. The rest is history. I was like, I'm never gonna stop working out. This is my thing. doing a very low volume approach to Dorian Yates style approach to training incredibly intense very short uh, very few sets and so right now my split looks like this back and bicep chest and tricep legs usually a light day with the hamstring focus then I do shoulders the next day and then I do back and, back and bicep again Friday, uh, uh, one or two different movements, but still basically the same. And then Saturday's legs again with a heavy quad focus, as heavy as I can. And then Sunday off. Me being as tall as I am and carrying the size that I do with this shape, it's very hard to become, have an exaggerated look being so tall. You don't see it very often. 
So to train as a tall bodybuilder, not just some guy that works out, not some hobbyist, not some wrestler, not some basketball player with abs, to be a bodybuilder and be competitive and actually go beat some little guys, you have to be smarter. You have to train smarter than the next guy. You have to train harder. You have to eat better. You have to do everything a little bit more. But there is a trick to it. For me to go all into the movements right now, it's kind of hard to do. It's easier to show you a lot of my movements. But I've, for one, I've developed my own style of squatting. I call it the Aaron squat. And I've been doing it for a really long time. And tall guys everywhere want to know how I got my legs the way I did. And that's hands down the way that I squat. First of all, I just want to say when it comes to nutrition, it's everything. It's everything. If you're, if you're tuning in with me and you want a shortcut, straight fuck off, okay? Nutrition is where it's at. Like, I'm so sick and tired of everybody acting like some drug is going to get you there. Take all the drugs you want. Go ahead. You will never beat me. You will never beat me unless you get your nutrition right. I promise you that. Because, like, nutrition is everything. That's your daily medicine. Every three hours, you better get that right shit in your body or it ain't going to grow. I mean, who do you think you are? You think this is a movie? You know what I'm saying? Like, your body it has to do certain things. So, I'm the author of The Supernatural Lifestyle. I've been eating this way since I published my book in 2011. I got three rules. Eat whole foods, don't mix your sugars and fats, time your nutrients. That covers everything. That's your food choices, how to put them together, and when to eat them. If you don't understand that, you do not understand food, and you're not eating for performance. You're not eating to the best of your ability. Okay, so to me that is everything. When it comes to supplementation, there are a few supplements that, that I like. It's very controversial. People say, oh, you don't need BCAs or you don't need glutamine or creatine or creatine works. I don't give a shit. It works, okay? It's not it's not gonna take your your you know your bench up hundred pounds, but it'll take that two hundred pound bench press from ten reps to twelve. It will, you know, and then the pumps are sick, and I like to chase a pump, so creatine is very important. Outside of that, my big thing that I like to do, <clears throat> if you read in my book, I manipulate my blood sugar with my foods. So I know when to spike my insulin with food and you know when not to. And if you can learn to do that, you can eat tons of calories and increase your insulin sensitivity. Now the main difference between eating the way that I eat and the way others eat is I'm all about insulin sensitivity. So that means my carbs go in certain areas and they stay there. If I eat more carbs, they, they go in those areas. And you know, and I control it. I don't eat carbs all day long, okay? You know, and there, there, are, there are specific times. A lot of people don't understand that carbohydrates provide your body with a lot of energy. So it's either gonna, bur you're either gonna burn it right away or you're gonna store it. Your body makes a choice, you know? Uh, when it comes to fats, they provide you with a moderate amount of energy, okay? So think about it. Like so many times people will say, well, when do you eat what? Say, well, just think about it. Like if you're going to bed, do you need a ton of energy to go to bed? Not really. Or if you're hungry, then you're gonna eat fats. It's gonna be your best choice. It's gonna drive your insulin sensitivity up, so it's keep you away from it, you know? And then uh, when it's time to have those sugars, to have those carbohydrates, your body will respond. Now, when I say respond, you know, your body stores glycogen. It, that's sugar, it stores sugar as glycogen. Now, when this happens, like, it basically, your muscles are storing sugar as sugar. It's the only way your body stores sugar, is, you know, in the organs, in your bloodstream a little bit, and then uh, in your muscle tissue. Okay, now the trick is to get it stored as much as possible to have that fuller look. Being tall, this is one of the things that's incredibly important. So many tall guys don't know how to do this, and they're always telling me, how can I be fuller? How can I look like this? How do I get shoulders like that? It's a combination of the right training, the right nutrition, everything has to be on point. There's no, there's no room for error. Well, when I was a kid, I used to pray the same prayer all the time. I used to, I used to pray to God that he'd give me the ability big and strong and uh, I used to pray for that and I said I promise I wouldn't waste it you know? so if I could talk to that kid right now I would tell him it's coming just just hang in there you know because one thing I've learned is in this life anything is possible you just have to you have to believe in yourself believe in God and work your ass off if you do that, anything's possible. Well guys, thanks for tuning in. It, it was my pleasure to share with you a little bird's eye view of my workout, nutrition, my life in bodybuilding. Uh, if you get time, check out my full profile and interview at supplementsworld.com.